Hey folks, welcome to AdStech. We're here today to play a brand new series on the channel called Helion. Now this is a space survival game. Uh, it's on Steam on early access and it's developed by a company called Zero Gravity. Um, it's still very much in its infancy, um, although the developers are very much active on the game. Now, uh, as I mentioned, it's a space survival game and from what I've seen, it's quite brutal. Uh, we're going to dive straight in and play it. Now, this game is um, only available for multiplayer, so you can't play if you don't have an internet connection. Uh, apparently, I don't have a connection either. There we go. Uh, so yes, you have to play it on a, um, a server. Um, I understand that you are able to create your own servers as well. Um, so there are uh, plenty of community servers here too, um, which is really good. We're going to go for an official server though and uh, see where we go from there. Now I think what we'll do, um, all of these are US based so I think we're just going to go for a standard uh, in fact, let's do a west one because we're based in Britain, so that's probably the, one of the closer ones. Uh, so, um, let's create our avatar. So, they do male and female characters. Um, it has had quite a few updates um, in the recent months, and it's been on early access for about 18 months or so. So, uh, okay, so there's three options uh, that we have here. A fresh start. You wake up after a century in cryo just one of the many colonists on their journey to Hellion. As your consciousness returns and you finally open your eyes, you find yourself in a small module, barely even a lifeboat. So we're going to go for that one, since it's the only one we can pick. And Oh, we're straight in. Straight in. Uh, we're just loading in at the moment. Um, there we go. Okay, I think we're finally loaded in now. Uh, okay, so we're starting off in what looks like a, a live pod. Um, and I'm assuming, yeah, a cryopod. What we got up here. So there's a lot of things you can interact with in the environment um, in Helion. Now, I've seen the developers play this um, on, uh, you know, on their channel, their YouTube channel. And uh, it doesn't do it justice when you're actually playing the game, does it? Alrighty, let's have a look here then. So, we're basically in a small module. Um, you can interact with a number of different things in the environment. Um, and let's have a look, see what we've got here. So this is a welding tool. We'll grab that bad boy. Uh, we're going to have a stem pack. Oh, you can't... Yeah, so, as far as I'm aware... I haven't loaded the game, by the way, um, just yet, but I have seen other people play it, so I know a little bit what I'm doing, but not very much. So we need to, uh, we need to put it on the floor, and I believe that's you press tab to open this this wheel up as well. I believe your suit gives you a lot more slot. Yeah, it gives you a lot more slots on your uh, on your suit there. So we can now pick up our welding tool, stim pack, and straight away you can. Oh God. What was that? Um, okay. So as you can see, um, you've got the uh, the window. Oh, that's cool. I like that. It looks like... I heard in an update that there are actually um, debris fields now. Um, so that's probably what we're seeing here. You see that smash into the station. And you have to admit, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> Right, so everything is... i tell you what, this is a pretty game. Very pretty. Fire extinguisher, we'll have that. Um, ah, these are those... Yeah, these are the boxes that you, that you can um, open up. Now, I've heard that sometimes these do contain uh, some resources, but they're, they're kind of very scarce. Resource injector. Looks like we've got something. Life support. Uh, do we have a light? Do we actually have a light? Hang on, let's just see if we've got... I don't even know what half the controls are, so bear with me a second. Toggle lights. L. Yeah, we... Uh, is that four players? Pretty sure that's probably for players. Visor is H. Lights is L, obviously. Uh, 
Mm, yeah. Okay. So we don't have any lights at the moment. Uh, let's have a look in this one. What's that? Oh, that's just a box. <laughs> yeah, nothing in those boxes, so uh, no point hanging around for those. Uh, so I'm wearing my suit. Here's a jetpack. And here is our helmet. Awesome. Oh, there's even a little indicator on HUD look to tell us that we're in a debris field. That's pretty good. There we go. H. I remember that one. Uh, so, now this game is very much based on Newtonian physics. So, anything that, uh, you know, there's, there's full on gravity in, um, in the game as well as uh, zero G as well. Don't need to open that. Oh, Christ. <laughs> wow, that takes you by surprise the first time that happens, doesn't it? Uh, okay, so as far as I know, WASD is your forward and side motion. Is it control? Yeah, control is down. Space is up. That's it. Oh, Christ. This is hard. I've heard a lot of people tell it to say it's hard, but you don't actually realise it until you have a go. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's get artificial gravity on and uh, see if we can't make life a bit easier for ourselves. There we go. Awesome. Right, so we're in... I think this is our habitat module. Um, so this is basically our base. So, uh, there's some more cryopods here as well, so I believe, because it's a multiplayer game, if you have any friends that, you want, to, that want to join you, uh, they can join you in these pods and they suddenly just pop out of nowhere and, hey presto, they get out of the pod. So, yeah, uh, that's uh, one way to invite your friends. There's a big hole there, so I guess we need to use our welding tool. Yeah. Is it, huh? Is it dead? No, it's not dead. Fix. Ah, right. There we go. Fixed. Awesome. Right. So we've got no lights on, so I think we need to main, uh, get main power online. Um, let's take this out of our hand for now. There's power. Solar panels offline. Um... Total output zero, that's fair enough. Total consumption zero. Uh, let's have a look. So, if we deploy solar panels, what's that going to do? Is it going to give us some power? I hope so. Online. No sun exposure. Oh, well, that's just great, isn't it? We've got solar panels, we can't even use them. <laughs> Yay! Uh, what else have we got to play with then? Let's have a look. Uh, hmm. Exposed wires. Air filter. Ooh, ouch. Quite a sucker punch to the gut, isn't it? Good grief. No warning. <laughs> uh, carbon filters. They will both look okay. I, I, I think all the parts in this game... I'm stuck. All the parts in this game, I believe... Um, the status of them is depending on what light they have on them. So, for example, those parts were green, which means they're okay, and any parts that need um, repairing or replacing are uh, yellow, I think, and then red ones are completely all broken. So, uh, we haven't got any any other parts at all. So we're going to have to go out, I believe, go out and uh, look for parts on other. Ah, oh, there we go. Air processing controller. Uh, let's have a look at the system. Are we missing anything at all? Offline. Uh, well, we can't power anything on because we've got no power. So, mm, what do we do? Slot for resource injector. Slot for servo motor. Okay. Well, since we have no power, there's not an awful lot we can do here, really, is there? What have we got here? Oh, they're spare suits. 
probably for your friends. What's that? I should have a light now. There we go. Explosives. I didn't know there was explosives. Hmm. Interesting. So I assume there should be a rifle there. Another stim pack. No overhead storage. Wow, look at the station. Do you know what? I love how detailed these uh, models all are. Uh, what we got here? Cargo terminal. What we've got? Cargo terminal. So we've got some resources at the moment then. We've got nitro, oxygen, nitrogen, no air. Because, you know, air isn't that important in space. Ice, regolith, nitrates, dry ice. Dry ice? Oh. Some low line fog. Uh, resource canister. What have we got in there? Hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. Connected cargoes. Um, attach point. Okay, so we can unload that. So, what is that? How do I drop something? G? Yes, G. I wish you could just use F rather than stick it in your hand. I know it kind of makes sense, but... Uh, attach points. So we've got ice, dry ice and nitrates. Unload. Oh, it looks like we've got some power. We do. Right, so we've got main power back online. Must have... Uh, must The sun must have come out. Which is good. Life support. So, uh, let's go... Where was our panel? There's our panel. Now we've got some power. What are we looking like? Air quality 96%. Pressure 1. Gravity on. Temperature 28. So I think that all looks alright. Um. Open sesame. Gravity's on there. So we've got gravity basically everywhere. As far as I know. That's good. Uh, what's that? Slot for hoop. Okay. What's that? Hula hoop? Uh, okay. Docking hoop, maybe? No, we don't want to do the docking control. Leave that alone. So, we've got a couple of modules. I think I think where we've just been is the habitat module. Then we've got... I think it's a corridor. And then we've got our... Um, basically our... I don't know. Base module, I suppose. Um, do you know what? Should we go outside? Good. Gravity's off in here. Why is gravity off in here? Ooh. Lord. That's going to take some getting used to, that is. Uh, so why... So before... Manual override outer door by pulling the lever. Hold shift to grab onto a nearby wall and avoid decompression. Well, I'd... I'd rather just not... Uh... I'd rather depressurize this properly. Is there no depressurization? Or do we have to do that? Oh god. This is very hard. I hope you guys are enjoying watching this because I'm very making a much mistake. If that was even English. Okay, let's go outside. Let's have some fun, shall we? Watch me mess about for the next, I don't know, <laughs> half an hour. Door control, manual override. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is scary. This is very scary. Uh, which one should we go for? There's a couple of modules out here. Uh, there is our module. Good grief. Oh god, I'm floating away. Right, this way. I think the, um, the jetpack is something you're going to have to get used to. What's this? Oh, Jesus Christ, no. D 
no, no, forwards. Thank you. Docking view. Okay, so we can dock, um, dock our modules to other modules. Press R to change port. Ah, there we go. Right, stop. So you move the mouse to move around. So is it the same control? Yeah, it's the same controls as, um, Stop, stop, stop. Good grief. Up. Crikey. Yeah, this is not easy, guys. Definitely not an easy one, I tell you. Is that where we've been? Oh, God, hang on. Let's just... Let's just stop for a second. Okay, right. Targeted modules. Outpost. Right, so we do want the outpost. Is that this way? Oh, uh, okay. We're not even pointing the right thing. Yes, there's our thing. That's our base. I want to attach to that. Right, so let's go f forwards. Let's get ourselves the right orientation as well. No, stop, stop! Oh my god, this is so hard. <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, this is going to take some getting used to. Definitely takes some getting used to. Right, oh god. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is hard. Guys, how do you do this? <laughs> I'm going to end up somewhere ridiculous, aren't I? This might take... We might be here a while. We're getting there, sort of. Oh my god, this is so hard. <laughs> I thought I wouldn't be too bad at this, but it turns out I'm like the worst person ever to do something like this. Why won't it stop moving? Oh my god. Right, directional speed. Distance. Oh god, we're miles away now. Right. Right. Easy, slowly. I think the longer you hold the thrusters, the longer it takes. Right, I want to be there. Stop moving. Oops, up a little. Right, let's go that way. Right, so let's go forward just a little. Right, so I'm very quiet by the way, this is actually really hard. you suddenly realise that you have to do very very subtle movements otherwise you completely fluff it up like I did and end up on your way to burning up into the sun okay 
Right, we're getting close. I can see inside the docking port, which is a plus point. At least it is on my side, anyway. Right, we're getting close. Am I the right way round as well? Are we here yet? Are we docked? No, that didn't work. Why is it not working? Am I the wrong way round? Oh yes, there we go. We're in! We're in, we're in! We did it! Oh god, now I'm flying away. We're in. I think we made it. What the hell? Why is it going away very quickly? Uh, what's going on? Um, I'm holding down W. Okay. I'm... hmm... Well, there's a ship! I want to go this way, because it looks like there's a debris field. Yeah, we don't want to be going there. I want to go here. Why is it moving so quick? Is this how it should be? I don't think this is. Why am I moving so quickly? Right, let's grab on. There we go. Right. Right, docking port. Let me in. Aha! Right. This one have a... It looks like it does. We can repressurize the. Uh, if I can ever get there, repressurize this bit. So close the outer door. Pressure. Air tank empty. Oh, the joys. Uh, this could be interesting. What's this? We're about to depressurize or repressurize this section. This whole. Ouch. Yeah, there's gravity here. <laughs> okay, so we've got no air. Hmm, okay. What happens if we open this one then? Oh, God. Yeah, there's air now. Hmm, okay. So I believe we need to get these on. Air filter, air generator, corridor B, air quality is going up. Uh, prep room, pressurize. Wow, you can pressurize things from here. That's awesome. So if we now go this way, yeah, see that? See it pressurizing. That's awesome. <laughs> Maybe didn't wait long enough. It's pressurized now. <laughs> Got that sauna in here. Cool. So 
in our modules then so it was this what do we actually attach to our base then this is home that's yes so this is home do I just attach another bunch of corridors because I can mm, this game is very good and extremely hard Got some more goodies though. What's this? Resource canister. No suits. Anything in the drawer? Nope. Drawer? Nope. Well, that's no good, is it? Uh, okay. Well, at least we've got another module. Um, I don't know what it is. Dock A. Airlock A. So I guess it was just an airlock that we um, that we got for our module. Because obviously we're going to need that anyway. Um, but I don't know whether it'd be worth... Mind you, we've got some storage. So I don't know whether it'd be worth having this compartment dock d directly to this compartment here. Because this doesn't really do anything, does it? As far as I know. Okay. This doesn't really do anything. It's just... Um, another sort of well it's just a corridor really, it's just a dock so, because an awful lot of corridor but anyway so, looks like where are these sparks coming from? can I go in there? Oh, I can go in there what's in here? oh, zero G what's this? result in depressurization of all adjacent chambers. Yeah, we won't do that. Let's not do that. Kind of like the pressure in here. It means I can breathe. So, what do we have on us then? We've got a fire extinguisher, a welding tool, which is nearly dead, jetpack, and a helmet. Uh, no. I want to put the helmet on, please. Uh, so, can I... Can we fill up the welding tool? What the hell was that? Attach point. Hydrogen. We've got some hydrogen here. Confirm. Why is this going up and down? What's going on here? Am I not? Good grief. Is there another... Yeah, there's another debris field. That's what it is. Hull integrity, 100%. Well, that's alright. Nothing in there. Close, please. Close, please. Thank you. Hmm. Alright, guys. Well, we've successfully or rather not successfully um, attached another module to our base in zero G I think this game is going to be massive I really do um, I hope you enjoyed laughing at me going around uh, space and nearly getting lost but uh, yeah that's it for today's episode um, next episode we're going to go and take a look at that ship that we found and uh, see what's on there because I think that's going to open up a whole host of gameplay um, so yeah make sure you subscribe and uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up because it really does help and uh, we'll see you in the next one in Helion